We're highlighting how much the manufacturing industry in Arizona is surging and the thousands of jobs it's rapidly created in a short amount of time. Trisha Hendricks joining us live this Tuesday morning, giving us a snapshot of the growth this is bringing to the valley. Trisha, hello. Good morning, guys. Yes, this is a big deal here for the state of Arizona. And when it comes to uh, helping unemployment, uh, folks are getting jobs thanks to the manufacturing industry. In a one-year period alone, we're talking 14,000 jobs created statewide. And that is a growth rate of nearly 8%, more than double the U.S. rate. So according to the Arizona Commerce Authority, jobs in the manufacturing of durable goods, that's with a lifespan of more than three years, are growing at the fastest rate since 19. 1995. A few of the big announcements over the past year, U.S. merchants bought a facility in Glendale to manufacture its storage crates, as well as to package and distribute various products, employing nearly 700 people. Nestle announcing a $675 million investment last spring, building a new beverage manufacturing facility in Glendale. That created 350 jobs and one of the largest custom air handling manufacturers in North America, X Energy, is setting up shop in a 1 million square foot manufacturing facility in Mesa, that creating more than 900 jobs with an investment of $300 million. As the president and CEO of the Arizona Commerce Authority explains, we've seen even more of that mega growth statewide in just the past four months alone. LG's expansion of uh, $5.5 billion, building a battery manufacturing operation in Queen Creek. We're also seeing the American Battery Factory manufacturer in Tucson building a operation at $1.2 billion. So considerable expansion, billions of dollars of investment, thousands of jobs being created. So incredible, guys. As for the LG Energy Solutions facility, that's in Queen Creek. The latest plan is to actually uh, four times bigger than what they had originally announced last year. Production is expected to start in 2025, so not too far off. Sanders says the more significant area for the advanced manufacturers and the tech companies, that's in the corridor between Tucson and Phoenix, so just south of the Phoenix metro area. But then, of course, there are chip manufacturers like Intel's $20 billion investment. That's right here in the city of Chandler. And then TSMC, that huge building off of Carefree Highway and the I-17, definitely evident that growth is surging here in the Valley of the Sun. Coming up at 6.30, we're going to talk about programs that are currently in place to support the more small local manufacturers, too. Live in the East Valley, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News, Today in AZ.